Okay, welcome to Literacy and Math Ideas. My name is Aaron, and in this video, we're going to discuss the Math Common Core Standard 30A1. Now, this is the first of nine standards under the Operations and Algebraic Thinking category of the standards. So, this is uh, Standard 30A1. It says, interpret products of whole numbers. For example, Interpret 5 times 7 as a total number of objects in 5 groups of 7 objects each. Now, in this standard, the goal is to get students to understand the physical meaning of multiplication. And I stress physical because at this early stage of learning multiplication, um, it is important that students understand the relationship of multiplication as it relates to physical objects. Now, this is fundamental. Uh, now, once students grasp the physical concept of multiplication, then the more abstract concepts, which are sure to follow in the more advanced topics of math, will be much easier for students to um, understand. Um, to begin teaching multiplication, students must be introduced to the concept of repeated addition. Now, at this stage, students should be taught that, simply put, multiplication is repeated addition. But the key here is that multiplication is repeated addition of the same number. So going back to the standard, if we say 5 times 7, this physically means to repeatedly add 5 onto itself together 7 times. In other words, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, plus 5 which equals 35. Um, and using physical objects, uh, they would be grouped together as shown. Now, this standard, like all of the other math standards, um, is very critical, which is why to help students fully understand the concepts here, uh, there is a targeted product available right now for instant download from Teachers Pay Teachers. Uh, the product is called Interpreting Products of Whole Numbers. Uh, now, this product is a set of task cards which can instantly be printed out for use in your classroom. Let's take a look at a few of the task cards to see what they're all about. Uh, this task card here, um, in, in this card, the student is asked to write the multiplication sentence that is shown below. Now, to solve this problem, uh, the student must first determine that there are four groups. One, two, three, and four. Next, the student must determine that there are three objects in each group. So, the multiplication sentence, therefore, is four times three. And by the way, the, um, an alternate and equally correct answer is 3 times 4. Now, this product has several task cards just like this one for students to work through. Let's take a look at another type of question that is included in this product and that is based on uh, 30A1 standard. Uh, here, the student is asked to determine which choice represents the multiplication problem shown. Now, this type of problem and others just like it in this product further reinforces the multiplication concept because it requires the student to distinguish between other choices uh, that may seem intuitive at first but are all incorrect. So for this particular task card, upon examination of all of the answer choices, we see that the correct answer choice is B. Uh, let's take a look at one more. Now this is a word problem. And before I discuss this one, I, I must say a few words regarding, um, you know, word problems in general. Uh, the ability to solve word problems is one of the main reasons that math is immensely important. When a student uh, has the ability to translate a word problem into a mathematical expression uh, to be solved, they learn a very, very good skill. Now, on the contrary, if a student only knows to do arithmetic, then one of the major objectives of math is unfulfilled. So uh, a student that really grasps the concept of, of um, uh, uh, the concepts that are, that are taught in math must be able to take a word problem and distill that word problem into its mathematical expression in order to solve the problem. Uh, the, the word problems that are included in this product will enable your students to master this aspect of math. This aspect of math must not be overlooked because in actual real-world scenarios, the majority of mathematical problems uh, will be presented in the form of word problems. Now, this, this is where being able to take the word problem description, 
from mere words on a page to translating it to the equivalent math problem becomes invaluable. Now there are several word problems just like this one included in this product that specifically focuses on 3OA1 on, on the 3OA1 standard. So if we look at this word problem in the task card, we see that Benny gave two lollipops to each of his 10 classmates. How many lollipops did Benny give away altogether? As you can see, uh, the student must arrive at 2 times 10 or 10 times 2 as the solution and further arrive at 20 uh, for the answer. So, in all, this product contains 30 task cards. These task cards are simple, easy to use, and very effective. Um, they can be given out as homework, uh, they can be used as short quizzes, or they can be done right in the classroom in small groups. Now, also included is a, is a student answer sheet. Now, depending on how you uh, decide or choose to use the product, the answers uh, can be recorded right on the answer sheet. Uh, there's also an answer key with all of the solutions. Now, as an as, as a extra additional bonus, uh, there is a storage box that is, in, that is included, an easy fold uh, storage box. If the cards are cut out, um, they can be stored right in the box for safekeeping. So look, having your students run through these task cards several times will ensure that you know, they fully understand the standard and will greatly increase the probability of a high test score on the various exams that test against this standard. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe and leave your comments below. Thank you.